Welcome to NMU and You. I have been assured that this is going to be the greatest television show in the history of all time. So let's get right to that. Here's your host, John. And with that kind of intro, I'd hate to disappoint, but rest assured, everything will be all right because we have the one, the only, the legendary Tim Ritter. Welcome back to the show. How have you been since we last left? Drunk. It's nice to know that some things don't change. I am getting a meal out of this, right? You promised me a meal. Uh, if you count a Nutrigrain bar as a meal, you're set. Yeah. But it's any flavor you want. Not really a meal, but as long as there's any flavor I want. Because this show really sucks, you know that? You know, we've been trying to do more with it, but just don't have much of a budget for a volunteer show. No, I can see. Yeah, but you don't get any talent, not like me. Anyways. No, you're a rare treat. A lot of times we've had to settle for drunk midgets, but not the quality ones like you see on Jackass. Drunk midgets? Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. You're obviously not a drunk midget, so we're way ahead of ourselves. I can be if you pay me enough. Really? What's the going rate for you to be a midget? I mean, it obviously doesn't cost much for you to be drunk, however much a bottle of Malibu is. Eleven ninety-five plus tax. Ah. Yeah. And to think that some people are midgets for free, they're really selling themselves short. <laughs> Selling themselves short. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, did you know that this Malibu rum uses only the finest rums from the West Indies? And holy balls, <laughs> it's made in Canada. It uses holy balls? No. Well, but the Pope isn't using them. That makes sense. It's made in, it's a product of those crazy Canadians. They're American wannabes. You know, Canada is like a loft apartment over a really great party. That's right. I love loft parties. <laughs> <laughs> they usually have lots of good rum. Not like the yeah. crap made in Canada. Yeah. What is up with them Canadians anyway? What do Canadians even know about rum anyway? I mean, shouldn't they just be making lots and lots of beer? You their, know. their beer sucks too. Yeah, isn't it just like fermented moose urine? I'm not sure. That's right, fermented moose urine. Good stuff. Fight the power. Oh. Anyway, I have a sense that we might be going to commercial at some point in the near future. Although, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Welcome back to NMU and you. We're going to bring this hour of power to a close. I should say half hour of power, but whatever. And we come back to the esteemed Tim Ritter. And at the time we left, we were complaining about Canadians, rum, and everything else we could think of. You know the craziest Canadian that I ever known? Who was that? Brad Brownell. He's Canadian? Yes. Wow, he seems almost normal on some days. That's pretty sad. Almost, almost. Yeah. But when he's drunk, then he uh, seems normal, but when he's sober, he's all Canadian. And you can tell if you ever hear his band, Bush League Pete. Oh, that show, that, that band sucks. Absolutely sucks. You know, the funny thing is I can say all this stuff because Brad's not here to defend himself. <laughs> well, does he ever really defend is this himself? Being recorded? It might be. I don't know. It doesn't it, matter because you'd have to right. be in he good with does it. defend himself. He just it's because he knows takes it's it true. like a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is right up the the Malibu rum bottle. I'm sure, I couldn't have gotten away with that one on TV. Oh, but you could have. Maybe on this show because nobody this show, watches this. Yeah, show. we could get away with just about anything. We <laughs> I'm have pretty no sure standards. the FCC doesn't watch. We're a lot like Cinemax. Show. We have no standards. We'll show virtually anything. You got on the Cinemax, huh? Sadly, I do watch it. There's a lot of frustrated cameramen. Well, we put you at like the prime time, like 8 o'clock in the night, because nobody watches Cinemax at that time. It's always later on in the evening that's when people watch Cinemax. Well, even then it's kind of frustrating. It can be. You know, you, you're hoping for so much more. It sort of leaves you with a limp response. Nevertheless, we're going to be on our merry way. NMU and you is going to be sued soon for obscenity and various other things. So before that happens, we're going to head out, have a good time, hunt some rum. I'll drink to that. And so will I. Thanks, and have a good one.